Hey, welcome back to the next lesson of our tutorial series on how to create a chat system using the Photon Chat plugin. Now this is where our series branches off into the two versions. For this version, we will only be covering the concepts behind the chat system, but we actually won't be looking at any of the code or syntax to make it work. To gain access to the other version where we will be going through the code line for line and show you exactly how to make it work, all you have to do is sign up to become a supporter on our website at www www.infogamerhub.com. You can also check the link in the description below. So to cover the concepts of this chat system, I'm going to click play. And the first thing that we can see is our join chat button and username input field. Now in the previous video where I was showing you how to set up the code, we went over how to connect to a chat room. And we were doing that within the start function. But there is a problem where in order to have dynamic usernames, we need to allow the players to input their username before we connect them to the master client. And so what I've done is I've removed that code from the start function and I've added it to a public void function that we can then pair to this join chat button. You then need to create a public function with a string parameter that we can pair to this input field for reading in the player's username. This makes it so that I can then type in my name and I can click the join button and it connects me as Nathan to the chat room. Now you might have noticed right then when I click the join chat button, both the join chat button and the username input field disappeared and the chat room objects were set to active. Now this was possible through one of those special callback functions that we added in the previous video. The callback function is called onConnected and in that function is where we are disabling our join chat button. But I'm not actually enabling the chat room objects in that same function because although you're connected to your Photon chat server, we haven't yet subscribed to a chat room. So in that onConnected function is where I'm calling the subscribe function of the chat chat client class. It is then in the callback function of the subscribe function, which is called onSubscribed, that I'm then activating the chat room objects. And that's how we get to this point, which is actually a good stopping point for this tutorial. We still haven't gotten to where we're sending and receiving messages, but now we've been able to connect, maintain that connection, and subscribe to our chat room with a working UI. And so in the next lesson, we'll go over the concepts behind sending and receiving public messages. Now, if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you'd like to gain access to the source code of this tutorial, remember it's only $3 a month to become a supporter on our website. And finally, make sure that you subscribe to our channel so you can be up to date with all our latest videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.